Hello there guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome to Survival Russia. Today we're going to take a look at three awesome fast on the fly cooking stands. The Ivenki tribe and most likely all of the other Siberian tribes, they are all about speed and efficiency when they are out. And uh, that is uh, reflected by many of the cutting tools, the axes and their knives. And uh, they have a lot of stuff to do when they set up camp, right? Feeding dogs, reindeer, all sorts of stuff. So. They are the masters of a fast cooking stand. So I'm going to show you three super fast cooking stands. So whenever we know that uh, in half an hour, one hour, two hours, we're going to set up camp, we're hiking through the forest and so on. And uh, then we can start to pick our forks. We can see, oh, there's a useful fork there. Awesome. Cut it, hang it on the backpack. And uh, next time we see another useful one, we do the same. And then we have our two forks we can bring with us. So here we could harvest our forks. We could harvest a lot of forks actually. Of course, the very specific way they are using their axes and uh, cutting uh, down trees and saplings and firewood and all sorts of stuff, we end up with these uh, pointed ends here. The pointed, the, the semi spear pointed end here, is of course very, 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 very useful for jamming it into the ground like this. And uh, then we can, of course, just set up our forks here, like this and like that. And then we have a very, very, very efficient cooking rack, cooking stand. It has to be a uh, uh, fresh sapling, so it won't burn under the, over the fire, not under the fire, over the fire. One advantage we have here, of course, is that we can uh, easily regulate the height, and by the way, this system here is pretty good on the hard surfaces like rocks and so on. I tried it, I oh, not tried it, I used it in Finland a few times when I was in Finland. Here we don't have any rocks, but you can see it's very easy to, uh, to regulate the height. It's also easy to just uh, take it like this and remove it from the fire and move it back if we want. So that's the first cooking stand. Now let's, let me show how they make it if they are only if they are really lazy and only use one fork. It's pretty brilliant actually. So here we have a sapling. Here we have our our cooking stand sapling. We're of course gonna use the the one we just used, but they're just gonna jam this guy here into the ground again. We're gonna do it a little bit like something there, like that. They'll take their fork, jam it in here. And yet again, you have a super stable cooking stand. It cannot get any more simple than that. But it actually can get more simple than that. Now let's take a look here. Look at what it looks like. Like that. These cooking stands you'll be able to make in less than five minutes. But let me show you now a really, really, really fast method. We have a sapling here, in this case a birch. We'll take our axe, make a cut. We'll bring, bring down our sapling here, like that. We'll take our two forks, and there we go, and it's already anchored down here, it's not going anywhere, backwards or sideways, especially this variant here, is super awesome, simply the, 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 the sheer speed of it is awesome. <laughs> That's how you make three different cooking stands in a few minutes, I mean this method here, if you already have and planned ahead, you have the forks and so on, it takes like one and a half minutes and you are done, ready to cook tea, whatever, on the fire. Awesome. So guys, please uh, consider anyway to join the channel membership down here in the 
linky thing here <laughs> in the description. And uh, yeah, I would of course appreciate it. If you don't want to join the channel membership, awesome. Nothing's going to change for you. And uh, there's nothing much more to say than, uh, yeah. Until next time, get out and train, get done, do something awesome. See you next video, guys. Thank you very much for your time.